Welcome to this Footer Pro tutorial video where we are going to cover how to integrate Footer Pro with Elixir Graphics Foundry Framework for Rapid Weaver. Um, so if you want to learn more about uh, where all this uh, cool framework is coming from, visit foundry.elixirgraphics.com. And uh, today we're also going to be using a uh, pre-made project file for Foundry made by Egomade. Uh, you can visit his uh, excellent project files at egomade.com. So uh, right now I am using the agency project file by Egomade and it is built within the Foundry framework for Rapweaver. And uh, there is no footer here. I have removed the footer that came with the project file because we are going to show how to integrate Footer Pro with this. So uh, over in Footer Pro, uh, I'm going to uh, accelerate footer production here and choose a theme that is ready to go footer. And a lot of these pro footers are modeled after real footers of uh, killer websites out there on the web. And so today we're going to go with the Spotify footer. So let's say I like this footer, I like the feel of it. I think it's gonna go good with my uh, agency example here, but I just really wanna make sure before I continue down this road. Uh, so I can take the URL to my example website or to my work in progress website. I can click the frame toolbar here and then enter the URL to my work in progress website. Scroll to the bottom and then boom, I can now see a combined view of my existing website where it's at, and I can see my editable Footer Pro footer down here. I can still make edits to this footer, I can change colors, anything like that, um, to kind of more complement uh, my existing website if I wanna do that. But I'm thinking this looks pretty good, let's continue with integration. So I'm gonna close frame, and I'm gonna go to export. I now have Footer Pro has now generated HTML and CSS that I can use in Rapweaver. So let's show where that goes. So I'm gonna open Rapweaver, and then here you have my uh, the, the project that I'm working on that you saw on the website. So with the stacks library open, I'm now gonna look for the Footer Pro stack. This is a free stack that just makes integration just a little bit easier. I'm gonna drag that to the very bottom of the page because this is a footer. I'm gonna close my library, open up those stack options, and I have an HTML and CSS box only. So the setup is pretty simple from here, guys. We're gonna copy the HTML, paste it in there, copy the CSS, paste it in there, and then let's see where we are at. Boom it is ready to go. This footer is now publishable. Uh, it will work on mobile devices. Uh, it's fully ready to go, guys. I don't know what to say. There isn't any more setup than that, at least for uh, being ready for a website. But what, what we do want is it to go on every single page of our Foundry project. So to do that, we are going to turn this stack into a partial first. And so we do that, we click partial, we go back, and now that it's a partial, it'll even say it up here, we're now going to go to each page. I won't uh, drag you through doing that for each page, but, um, but we're just gonna be pasting it at the very bottom of every single stack page. The reason why we make this a partial first is so that when you ever edit uh, the footer again in the future, it will update across all site pages immediately, and then you could just publish it. It just makes your life easier. So now let's talk about the actual editing of this though. Let's say you're like, oh, well I need to change about to about us and I need to have my jobs to be at the top right above uh, the about link here. This is very easy to do. So uh, let's double click our partial. Let's uh, open, back, open the settings back up and then we are looking for HTML and CSS. Now Footer Pro can import uh, it's uh, its own export code and read it and reload all your old settings. It's pretty magical stuff. So uh, this is the, the beginning of Footer Pro, uh, the start of the app. I'm gonna click the import option and uh, we have HTML and CSS boxes here. So I'm gonna take this HTML, bring it back in and it validates as Footer Pro code. 
And then I'm gonna take the CSS, bring it back in, and it validates as valid CSS. So now it is loaded back in. Now I can edit this about link to say about us. I can drag the jobs link above there, and then I can re-export this stuff back into that footer pro stack, and we will have our changes just like that. Uh, so this is, so importing back into Footer Pro is a great way, well, it is the best way to manage uh, your Footer Pro projects for like clients and stuff like that. So uh, one of the things I just wanted to say is if you ever get stuck using Footer Pro, uh, it comes with full documentation. Just click the help button up here and you will see that uh, we have lots and lots of stuff uh, that we go over for this app. Uh, if you, uh, let's say you want to know how to edit a column or something like that. Whoops, not, I need to be able to know how to spell <laughs> column, uh, editing footer columns. Uh, we have everything there. So that is, uh, you're not going to get stuck guys. And if you truly do get stuck, you can always uh, go to your account and then email support and um, I can help you out. Also, I wanted to touch upon, um, in this video, we used uh, we use premium themes, we use the frame uh, feature, and we also imported the stuff back, the footer code back into Footer Pro. All three of these are uh, paid features. So if you um, have a unlocked Footer Pro account, you can use the features we just covered in this video. Uh, so for more information, you can always go to footerpro.com uh, for more details and let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys.